All right, we are going to learn the high melody part for Justin Bieber's Love Yourself and Ed Sheeran, of course. Um, it's all played now. You can see I've got my stickers here, but I'm really not going to need them much um, today. We really need to be relying on the dots along here, which say which frets we're in. Um, that's what you're going to be focusing on today. And we're going to use entirely one string, which is our B string. It's the second thinnest string. So that's the only string you're going to need today. I'm going to be using my thumb to pluck. I'm going to be plucking each time twice. And then I'm going to use my thumb to stop the string again. So I'm going to end up plucking the string with my thumb. I'm going to put my thumb in shot here, even though I won't use it here. I'm going to pluck it and then use my thumb to stop it. I'm pushing down on the string here in the fret and using my thumb to stop it. All right, so it goes as follows. Remember to use your dots on top of your guitar that tell you what fret you're on. So my one in this case has a dot on the fifth fret and then a dot on the seventh and a dot on the ninth. And we're going to need the frets around that area because a lot of this is played up higher on the guitar. And we're going to play like this. We're going to start off on our ninth fret, plucking it twice and stopping it. Down to our seventh. All on the dots, nine, seven, five. Like that. So have a practice with that first. Nine for two, five, seven, five. And try and stop it each time with your hand or with your thumb to stop that ring out. We don't want it to sound like this. So if you lift your finger up, just a little bit up from the string and use your thumb or your hand to stop it, it'll sound like this. Like that. So try again. Nine, seven, five. That's the first half. If you're ready to go straight on to the second half, keep watching. Otherwise, pause it and just practice that until you've got it. Remember to use your dots as a guide. Nine, seven, five. All right, staying on our B string, we are going to move up to our 10th fret, which is the one next to that third dot, at least it's the third on my one. So the 10th fret, 9th, and then 7th. So we're still using the 9th and 7th, just like we did before, and it goes. Just to do that again, 10th, 9th, 7th. One more time. And when we put it all together, we go 9, 7, 5, 10, 9, 7. Rest. 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 Like that. So you can see it's not that tricky using one string. There is another version where we use a lower string, which is the um, A string there. So there's a video where you can learn the same kind of concept, different fret numbers, but using the A string. Um, then you can have perhaps have one person do the A string, one person do the B string and play it together. It will sound really nice together. Or you can even try the harder version where you play both of those at the same time. It's a lot trickier, but it's a good challenge to try and do. See if you can do it. All right, have fun making music.